Hello and welcome to this uh, second episode for the holiday, holiday special in Tortage. Like I said before, not a winter wonderland, but it's it has its beauty and it's scarce. Uh, we are uh, looking pretty in this half pirate, half savage getup uh, together with Casilda over there. And we are going to run down that uh, way to beat all the pigs and get some more loot before we continue over there towards the monkeys. So let's see where we'll end up. Uh, I do really like this music over here. I mean, it's, it's no masterpiece, but it's definitely... It fits the game. It's it has this savage feel to it. It's I, I love it. Let's do another. Well, we've reached level five. You know what that means? That means we have. So this is only for two-handed weapons, while this one is for any... Uh, in that case I might need to switch weapons again. So I can actually start using the proper... ...skills here. Another nose bone. Did the other ones drop something? Yeah, no, they didn't. Uh, we've reached level 5, we can now actually, uh, we have a few more skills in the form of hiding as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that's of any use to us, so let's just continue. Now, there's only one PvE server left, and that's the Chrome. And then there's one PvP server, and then there's one competitive PvP server. Um, and we are on Chrome, as you can probably guess, because I'm not much of a PvPer. Of course, sometimes I do like joining a battleground or something like that, but not the massive PvP things that happen on PvP servers. I started a character on a PvP server once in uh, World of Warcraft, and it is still my favorite character, but I really do not like the whole ganking and the... Uh, 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 just the, the way people attack you, uh, level 60s are currently just, or le level 100s are pretty much attacking me while I'm only level um, 90 at the moment, so, or 95 or something, and uh, it, that, that's no fun. What? So, I, I don't even know what kind of kick they get out of that, due to the fact that there's no challenge whatsoever in beating someone who's so many levels below them. But apparently, there's some fun to it for them. I have no idea what. It's an empty hut. Um, there's a bad pick mauler over here. So let's get rid of him. Um, So those abilities I have now, the new ones, are pretty damn powerful, as you probably noticed. And again, they have a pretty big chance to hit multiple characters due to the fact that this game does not have a normal target interface, but it's actually just... You're reaching... If it stands in front of me, I'm hitting it. So that's the... Now we have a bow and arrow. 
I don't think we can... Oh, I'm actually not sure. I can use it. So I am able to use those, but I'm probably not going to. So the, if you're an archer, you have massive amount of skills for uh, bow and arrow, and you can do all sorts of stuff, but I'm not an archer. And uh, that makes it a lot less interesting to do that. Now while we're fighting all these Picts, uh, let's talk a bit about the interface. I mean, it's very clean. It only shows what's necessary, as you can see. Um, Also, adds, um, it has quite a hot bar system. I mean, you have this, you have this, uh, this set over here. It's all very well done, in my personal opinion. And it all fits the style of the game. And that's something... Apparently my inventory is already full. Uh, let's see if I can maybe get rid of something. I only have two crocodile teeth. Let's destroy those, take all, and then we can equip these. Uh, the jungle boots are also one, uh, and that was actually a bad choice. But yeah, we'll probably need to switch them out again later on, so let's just continue going. Uh, we will get more bags and more bag space as we continue, but you have only 50% bag space due to the uh, free-to-play thing, apparently. That's not too much of a problem, uh, personally. Uh, it just means you need to go to a shop more often, but there are shops all over the place. Like I said, the uh, problem is all there. And you can get more backspace easily by doing certain quests or buying more bags in the uh, shops or, in, of course, in the online shop. That's all up to you if you want to spend money on that. Uh, let's see if there's any more of those creatures over here. So yeah, um, in this game, magic is dark. It's bad. It's well. Uh, let's see. This is jungle boots versus savage foot. Guy. I want the jungle boots actually. Let's get rid of that, and let's grab this, this is probably worth more. It's a very savage world, it's a very bleak world, dark world, and, um, well... <laughs> if something bad is happening, it's, uh, probably magic. Uh, magic is a bad for a dark force. There's three sorcerer builds as well. Um, it can be three types of sorcerer. Oh, now I need to make choices. This one's one tin. Yes, please. Get that one in there. Get it on that. Yes. Better weapon. Let's see. This is three tin. This is two tins. Three tin. Three. Three. Thirteen. 39, 5. Let's get rid of the chew the food because this is bad. We're for more. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon. Um, so, yeah, um, we are going to look at the last food. That one was easy kill. Let's take those. And normally we, you would get the uh, key from this little box over here. But that's not needed now. Um, but yeah, we got a nice little sword out of that little side trip. 
and this sword is definitely better than the club we were, were, were using earlier. And it looks nice and piratey, doesn't it? I mean, we're going to go to a pirate town, so we need to look the part. Um, at least in my opinion, we should. Uh, so let's get to the city now, because it's uh, getting time. need to fight a few apes and the apes have pretty good treasure as well and they also carry around a lot of uh, bananas and those bananas are pretty decent they, um, if you come across them I will switch out an item for those because despite the fact that the bananas aren't worth that much they drop pretty decent around here of course, we'll see that when I'm playing this now, it'll drop no bananas at all. Or maybe a small bit, few. So yeah. And we unlocked another resurrection place. this story is going to continue is because we are marked as you may have seen the little mark over here with the hand on it it's a, a slave mark but it's a special magical slave mark and something happened that made us uh, regain our control but uh, it's still active and it is still something going on with that and due to the slave mark we have no memories of what happened before who we are who our family is and so on and so forth um, as such, we are going to figure, try and figure out how uh, far we are from home and what happened and such. And uh, let's get rid of this. Well, there's, um, like I said, there's a lot going on in this world. Each uh, country, each land has its own trouble, of course. Uh, Sumerians have uh, trouble with a race of barbarians that are encroaching on their lands and killing people and such. See, that's... Um, uh, what shall we throw away now? The big club because this thing is th th 43 tin. Now I know for a fact that there's a chest over here. But there's a lot more story to this, of course. The and this is a bit of a uh, well, sad is the wrong word, but um. This game, the the early acts are very heavy on the voice acting, but later on it gets less and less. Though they added a lot more voice acting uh, in a later patch, it's not full on voice acted yet. Uh, so le yeah, let's see what happens when we get to the city. Bren? Another gate. At least this one seems to be unlocked. On the other side, the city awaits us. We're close enough for me to make my own way from here. You can coin or anything of value to reward you for the help you've given me that time. Speak with me inside the city and I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. <laughs> I'll see you inside the city walls. Just remember to say nothing about escaping your captors or killing any slavers. You crush picked heads with great skill but... Stay out of trouble in the city if you want to see another sunrise. Goodbye. We'll meet again. I'm sure we will.
I love the amount of detail in this loading screen. And of course this little text here over there says a lot about the cities of Tortage and it has a lot of uh, Yeah, here, uh, lava streaming down from a volcano over there, and uh, we have a little temple of Mitra, and over here we have Turach, who has a quest, but we're too low level just yet. Um, oh, it's a bit lagging. Uh, yeah, it's gone. And over there, I'm seeing uh, there are a few players around. Let's see what Laranga has to say. And what brings you to this part of the island? Um, I'm looking for Nadini. You see her? She lives in Tortage, all right, but she rarely leaves her shack. Well, in that case, I seek to enter the city. I can't let you in. You wear a prisoner's iron. The Red Hand rules Tortage now. They have no tolerance for escaped slaves on the streets. The Red Hand? You come from many leagues away, yes? The Red Hand is a splinter faction of the Red Brotherhood, the Pirate Alliance of the Western Seas. Adonis Strom controls the Red Hand. Therefore, Adonis Strom controls Tortage. Save my curiosity. Tell me more of the Red Hand and the Brotherhood. People who talk deeply about such matters tend to run afoul of the Red Hand sooner rather than later. Announcing your interest is akin to announcing a death wish. I've seen people impaled because they offended Strom or one of the soldiers of the Red Hand. There are prettier ways to die, friend. Let it go. Alright, how can I remove my shackles? You could use a swift tools or a decent weapon. And I see you carry neither. Let it never be said that World Captain Loranga was a cold man, though. One of the city's blacksmiths, Turak, works over there by the Lava River. Speak with him. All right, let's. Uh, Watch your back, my friend. See if we can get some help from Turak, the guy we just saw. Uh, did he activate this? Yeah, it's active. So yeah, that's the uh, city of Tortage. And it's actually quite massive. It's like an old ruin with a uh, city of shacks and shanties built on top of it. Um, there's quite a few quests here and you can level quite a bit before you're done here. Hey. Uh, Turach, right? Uh, can you break these shackles? That's piss poor Stiggy and Wok if ever I saw it. Worst quality I have never used by a craftsman. No time though. The lava is rising, and if I don't get this dam finished, Tortage drowns in the volcano's burning blood. What do you mean? Have you ever take a swim in lava? Have you seen a city hit by a river of lava? Neither have I, but I'm damn sure it will kill everyone. Now enough foolish talk! What did you need me for? If I help you, will you remove my chains? There's a quarry just ahead, and I need stone bricks. I've seen neither hide nor hair of my wagon since my mule got spooked near the Acheronian ruins. But you've a strong back, eh? Bring me some stone bricks and I'll smash your shackles. I'll bring this you the stones. This river won't dam itself. You might want to run, friend. Time's not on our side in this. Goodbye. Go then. You'd think la that a small little... Rune like that won't do much. Or a uh, small little wall. But apparently, it's enough. Well, when it comes to the quest, this game is pretty much like any other MMO. It has its fetch quests, it has its um kill quests and so on and so forth uh the ah. story is pretty decent the com uh, the, the, the thing it the, the the combat and ah. the um 
story are the uh, thing that's well the biggest uh. point of interest. Now normally there would be a massive bat creature jumping out of this hole right here where the mule is lying, but apparently not this time. Probably because another player went here f uh, not too long ago and uh, killed the thing already. But yeah, let's um, get rid of these chains. Well, chains. The uh, bracers that I've been wearing. Hey. I've got your stone oh. bricks. Faster than I'd feel too. Hand them over. Good. Good. Now I can finish the job. Doubt anyone will hail me as a hero, but at least we all get to live another day. Now for my now chains. Let's do it before some red hand soldiers come by and see what we're about. Put your wrists on either side of that stone and turn your face aside. I owe you my thanks. I don't like to see chains on the undeserving. I have a powerful hate for featherweak sticky and iron too. It's a pleasure to destroy the stuff. Goodbye. Go then. So with that said we can run towards Laranga. And sell our junk. Hey, I am Wall Captain Laranga. No slave arms, <laughs> let me in. Why, how rare? You look much like an escaped slave who blindly approached me a short while ago, begging to come into Tortage. But I am sure you have never worn a slave's manacles in your life. Very rare. You may pass, but there is a condition, my unsubtle renegade. Name Inside it. the city you'll find the Thirsty Dog Tavern close to the gate. The barmaid there, Tina. I want you to hand her this letter. I'll see her after I finish my duties today, so I'll know if you don't keep your word. Tell her Loronga sent you. And keep your hands to yourself. Hear me? I've not even met her, yet you warn me against betting her? Just... She is precious to me. I apologize for my words, eh? Now take the note. I'll bring Thank her your you. note. A word of wisdom if you have the time. This was your first lesson in how Tortage works. A favor for a favor. And you're only as good as your word. Be careful when scratching others' backs that someone doesn't plant a dagger in yours. You think the jungle was bad? Welcome to your new home. Uh, that's, uh... Try not to be seen breaking any laws, eh? That's nice to hear. Well, now that we've done away with the manacles, we can actually enter. And uh, there's already a few quests around. But first, very important, get rid of the stuff. Sell the Ape King's treasure. Blue pearls. I'm not going to shoot any bows soon. That one isn't needed, that one isn't needed. Uh, that one's needed either, those can go, that one can go as well, that one can go, and that one can go. With that we have a few bananas left. Uh, do I want to sell those? Yeah, let's sell them. And we'll keep the fresh blood belly eels. And there's a blacksmith over here. Greetings to you as well. How are you? I have been better, much like the city itself. There is little trade to be done with the blockade, little place to sell my wares, and little opportunity to acquire fresh materials to work. I am a blacksmith with no metal, and a trader with no customs. Strom's Red Hand is well named, for they strangle all life from the city's trade. Tortage is suffering badly? Worse than badly. Strom's men kill any who dare speak out against him or the new laws. Traitors abandon their stores or are murdered outright under suspicion of resistance involvement. Most people get by nowadays by doing favors. 
Well, if you're doing favors, you need help with anything? Are you too proud to help with a little scavenging? If you could search the empty and abandoned stalls down by the old harbor market and give me what you find, I will give you what I can as payment. I'm not above helping out when I need is true. I need is true enough. Down by the harbor market, a leather worker, a butcher, and a baker once worked in their own market stalls. All three are dead. Executed by the Red Hand. So, they will not miss any scavengings you bring back for me. Well, well, goodbye then. Let's see what we can come across. Oh, well, that's not the... Uh, I didn't meant to do that. Let's see where we can... So why I'm not going to Tina and just uh, do that? Because there is some nice little reward for this, if I recall correctly, of course. Um, the meat lever over there, which we can, of course, use. A rolling uh. pin. And a bit of leather. Uh. See, there's this whole ruined tower stuff in there. And there's these, all these old brick houses with test roof. And uh, over there we have completely wooden houses as well. That's what I meant with the uh, ambience in the tortage, you know, with the uh, how it looks. It's, it, it has this brilliant atmosphere, all things considered. It truly does look like a pirate city. And over there we have a few ladies of uh, the night, over there as well, and there. Greetings. I found some items in the empty stalls. These should help you. My thanks. Uh, may I see? This is a fine hall, my friend. These tools are valuable to someone who knows how to use them. Here is the reward I promised you. Some food. Nice. Goodbye. Farewell. Farewell. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at how much time I need, still need. Over there, at the, uh, from Sasan, he's a tailor. We can get a bit of uh, a, a nice quest to uh, get our first armor pieces. But right now we're going to the inn. And I'm going to show you one last thing. Because... Uh, the storyline is, tr uh, is the, the story driven bit is done in such a way as yeah it just works I mean look at this uh, right now we're in the day portion you play with other players you have the normal quest stuff if we're going to talk to Tina and you'll see that soon you will um, get a quest and you will travel to the night uh, time area you will see Tortage at night and during the night phase you will be do going and uh, doing a specific quest story to your character which is um, well to your character I say you get uh, rogue characters have their own story warrior characters have their own story and uh, priest characters and mage characters all have their own stories These stories differ quite greatly, but they all have uh, t uh, they all work together. I mean, if you um, as a thief, you m or as a rogue character, like I am a barbarian's rogue character, you will uh, uh, did I go? Yeah, I was a barbarian. As a barbarian, you will get a, a rogue. Uh, you're a rogue character. You will get a rogue storyline. At some point, you will need to uh, rescue a child from or uh, find a child that has been kidnapped. And once you find the child, uh, a warrior comes along and says that she will look after the child until someone else comes to take him home. And that someone else will be your warrior, warrior character if you would play a warrior character instead. And so on and so forth and so on. So all the characters uh, contribute to the complete story. But you will only see the parts of the rogue character. This is quite an interesting way to do this. Then there's the overarching storyline that's next to that. And that's more to do with your own problems. Which is to say the fact that you are marked. That there's 
some sorcerer that put this mark on you that did something to you that made you forget <laughs> all about your past uh, you need to find your past back and that's the second story that's going to play out during the night phases so with no further ado let's talk to Tina and see what the night is like the thirsty dog inn is always open are you Tina I am why do you ask uh, Laranga sent me with a note for you. A note? Let me see. What does the good wall captain have to say? Gif. Oh, well, thank you for bringing me this. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm looking for a stage called Narini. The old seer? She hasn't seen many visitors lately. She lives by herself in an alley to the southeast. You don't want to be seen with her. The Red Hand have eyes everywhere and they've little love for Nadini. Wait until nightfall, when the city is clad in darkness <laughs> and the guards are drunk. All right, I'll wait until the sun has set. My bed is upstairs. No, don't get ideas. I'm not offering myself to you, but you look ruined by the day's efforts. What have you been doing outside the city walls? Use the bed, then go and speak with Nadini after dark. You'll find her shack in an alley to the southeast of this inn. One thing you'll learn fast in Tortage is that all the important business goes on when the moon rises. Then I'll see you tonight. So this is about the destiny quest and there's a lot of different storylines going on during this portion of the f game that you won't normally meet when you are running the um, daylight portion of it. You will need to uh, play through this part of the quest before you can uh, leave Tortage. But it's not a bad storyline or anything. It's actually quite an enjoyable story to uh, play through, in my personal opinion. Of course, that's my opinion, as usual, and other people might think differently. Let's see what Nadini has to say. I want to know more. I am told you can help me. Who told you this? You are not one of Strom's minions, are you? I want nothing to do with the tyrant or the corrupted, weak-souled wretches who serve him. I need your help, Nadini. A man called Calanthus sent me to you. Then you cannot be one of Strom's men. Know this, friend. The tyrant of Tortage lets few souls leave the island. The Barachan Isles are his plaything. Since his Red Hand faction rose to power, I will aid you in building a new life here, if you wish. Is that what ails you? No, Sage. My life is, uh, my life is a ghost to me. I remember almost nothing. You bear a sinister mark on your flesh that pains me just to look upon it. Hide it from the eyes of others, for it is an omen of destiny. But as to your past, why? You have the features and strength of the unconquerable Cimmerian clansfolk. You are no doubt one of their tenacious people. Tell me, what ghosts of memories play out behind your closed eyes? Shadows close about me, and I hold a man's death in my hands. There is pantherish grace and animalistic strength in your motions which speak of great feats of stealth and agility. Few will follow your actions, or even see you strike, until the moment has passed, and it is too late to change fate. Does this seem familiar to you? What else do you know of my role? Put enough blood, sweat and time into your skills, and the world itself becomes a treasure for the taking. Whether you deal in ill-gotten coin from a noble's purse, or slaughter your foes in darkened alleys, the laws that other men live by will fade from your care. But my memory is shattered. My skills are dull. It was plain to see.
from the way you carried yourself and the fierce cunning within your gaze. The recovery of your skills will be a testing process, and you will need to speak to one who works in the same craft you once mastered. Who should I speak with then? At the thirsty dog, the young barmaid, Tina, is your most promising prospect for sinking your teeth into Tortage's underworld. Beauty and a charming smile hide a shadowy second life. I know of Tina. The wall captain gave me a note for her. My heart grows colder with age, as worries breed and cares fade. But still, it warms me to know love finds a way to bloom even here, among such corruption and vice. You may trust Tina. She is a sweet soul, untouched by true malice. Alright, and afterwards I will book passage to my Actually, homeland. Actually, you will not. The Lord and Master of Tortage, Strom, only allows loyal ships to leave the harbor. A resistance fights against him, thus the tyrant has blockaded the city in an attempt to hunt them down. Now, before you go, I would offer a warning. The mark on your chest. Is there anything you can tell me of it? I will speak of nothing unless I am sure it is the truth. I warn you, you should seek out the cause of it if you can. Men and women with dark hearts and darker powers will recognize it and seek to use you. Go to the one who will train you and tell them I sent you. Goodbye. Our paths are a braid of fate. And with that said, I'm going to call it a night, since it's night. But yeah, um, I hope you liked this episode. Uh, please subscribe, uh, press the like button, leave some comments below, and um, well, if you want to see more of Age of Conan, please let me know, because there is a lot more to this game than you've seen up till now. Um, have a happy holidays. It's a bit late, I know, because these videos will go online later this night, maybe even tomorrow, and then it's already the day after Christmas. But still, I st hope you have a fantastic new year at least, and um, I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever game I'm going to upload next.